I wanted to know is um, how does it work exactly about uh, affirmation? What is the science behind the affirmation? So um, there's a couple of different things. The, the science behind the affirmation is that um, it, it activates our visualization. So when you make an affirmation, there's always words associated with it. And the words which come out of the neocortex are always connected with pictures. So when you say, um, you know, I want to be a monkey, I want to be a monkey, you know, you maybe not as strongly, but you always have some sort of picture associated with it. When we visualize things, our brain is more activated. There's another study that's very famous. It's called the Pasquale Leone study. And in this study, a neuroscientist from Italy had two groups of people. Uh, and he wanted to uh, teach them how to play the piano. So the first group uh, played the piano, you know, for two hours or something like that every day. Uh, and the other group just thought about playing the piano. Uh, at the end of the week, both groups were measured. And what was found is that the group of uh, people that just thought about playing the piano, you know, they visualized it, which is kind of the same way of having an affirmation, played just as well as the people that were playing, you know, for two hours every day. Similar study has been done with um, muscle movement and muscle strength. There's another guy uh, out of um, Ohio University that had people think about their muscles being stronger. Uh, uh, one group was thinking about the muscles being stronger and another group was thinking about, um, you know, the, just moving the muscle. And sure enough, when the people visualized their muscles getting stronger, uh, their muscle actually was stronger when just moving it by itself. So the combination of having an affirmation um, with the visualization will actually activate uh, the neuroplasticity in a complete new way and will move this forward and drain out this old stamp that was on your brain saying, you know, I can't do it. So, uh, go yeah. Ahead. <laughs> so uh, let's say, uh, you know, uh, I want to buy uh, a car and I keep saying to myself, I want to buy this car, I want to buy this car, I'm able to buy this car. And uh, at the end of the month, uh, I still don't have the car. Wh what's happened? Why is it not working in this case? Okay, so there's a couple of things we, we talked about um, in many of the sessions. First of all, you wanna have your, uh, your goal or your visualization 50% believable. Okay, if I wanna have a car and I don't have a driver's license um, and I live on an island where there are no cars, it might be very challenging for me to want a car. OK, uh, and basically what I'm doing is I'm opening myself up to receiving a car. That doesn't necessarily mean, you know, a car is going to fly into the window. OK, I still have to take the steps to actually manifest the car, which means I have to get my driver's license. I have to look for a car. I have to decide what kind of car I want. So an affirmation is not automatically saying that these things will come to me. It's basically... Um, telling the universe is telling yourself and getting yourself ready to receive um, of what you want and also allowing yourself to take the steps, you know, to change your behavior in an easier, smoother uh, way. So uh, if I sit here on my chair and I say to myself, I want to be six foot tall, I'm going to be six foot tall, I'm going to be six foot tall, it's not going to work because um, nature will not really allow me to do it. And it's not even, it's not even 5% realistic that I'm going to be six foot tall. <laughs> and, you know, I'm five foot two, so it's not going to work. So we want to be a re realistic with our affirmations. Um, a lot of times, um, I, I just alluded a little bit to, the, to it, um, people feel like I'm saying it and it, it's nothing is happening. Basically, what you're doing is you're cleaning out an old bottle and you have a lot of crud in there uh, and your naysayer uh, and your the part of the brain that is saying you can't, you won't, you will never is getting activated. And so oftentimes when I uh, do a forgiveness exercise or start an uh, affirmation process, 
there's this part of me that says, you know, I will say, I'm enough. And then immediately I hear on my shoulder, this part saying, well, no, you're not. You know, that's just my old ways, uh, my old beliefs coming up. And then what we need to do is we just need to uh, be more tenacious. We need to be more um, intentional and we need to just keep going with the process. Just like, remember when your, when your um, child learned to walk, you know, she start walking, she would fall down and she would, you know, maybe she would cry and then she would get back up and she would continue because in her, there was this innate belief that she would learn how to walk, right? all the things that the babies, the little children are learning, it's like there's a drive in them that um, has 100% belief that they will be able to do it. Somewhere along the, along the way, we lost that a little bit. And, and yet, um, it's our job to continue and just put one foot in front of the other. And eventually, you will see that you will have changed your neuroplasticity and you will made uh, we will have made a new stamp on your brain, and it will get easier and easier. So don't just give up when um, you start the process of affirmation. When you when your you know your other part, your protective part, comes in and says, "Oh no, you're not. Oh no, you can't." Those are just old tapes that you've been playing for a long time, and just now when we're starting to change this process. Um, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work right away. So, you know, you need to stick with it. This is why there's a process of, you know, some people say 21 days, some people say 32 days. You know, um, Harvard has a study that says it's about 32 days. And you do it every day um, so that you are getting into the habit of, of changing um, the neuroplasticity. So I, I have a question uh, from uh, one person. So they say, do you say the affirmation all day or is it enough when you wake up and when you go to sleep? I tend to forget during the day as I am busy. Okay, so one school of thought is to stack uh, habits. Okay, so a great way to say your affirmation is when you're brushing your teeth. You brush your teeth every day, right? Or you go to the ba bathroom or you shower. And a good way of doing it is just to say a hundred times a day. A hundred times a day for a short to medium affirmation is uh, takes about five minutes. So if I'm saying I'm enough, I'm enough, I'm enough a hundred times, it probably takes three minutes. So it's um, very important that your affirmation is so short that you can remember it. If you have a long affirmation where I'm a beautiful person who's shining in the universe and some days I will, you know, have a new car, it's long. You know, my brain has already lost, you know, it's lost the zest. So I want to have it very short. Um, my affirmation right now is I'm loved, I'm enough, I'm loved, I'm enough. So I will remember that. It's easy for me. I, I have it written down. I have it on my phone. You can set a timer. And so at 12 o'clock when you're having lunch, your timer goes off and you say, oh, okay, it's time for me to say my affirmation. So um, one of the things that our devices are really great, great for is to set timers and help us to do these new habits. But really, it's a good thing to commit to saying you have an affirmation 100 times a day when you, um, when you brush your teeth. And then what will happen is it's like a remember batman uh you know batman had a special tool and it was his bat it was his hook and it's, uh you know whenever he was in trouble he would like throw the hook and then he would get himself out of trouble the affirmation is is um, a tool that can function like a bad hook uh, and once you've built up the energy it will take a little bit you can say it once and immediately this energy comes over you and you light up and you can see it in your face and you, you will use that to move yourself forward. 